All right, friends. Thanks so much for deciding that you wanted to do this today and, uh, and do a quick practice to really calm yourself down, right? So we're going to get right to it. First thing we're going to start with is a pranayama exercise called Kapalabhati breathing. So this is a very percussive breath style. So you'll be inhaling quickly in through the nose, exhaling out through the nose. And as you exhale, you'll be pulling the abdomen back toward the spine to push the breath out through your nose. So it's, uh, it's fairly, we'll do it fairly quickly. But one of the ways that I think that this is incredibly effective is when there's something in particular for me that's that's kind of like very at the forefront that feels very <clears throat> emotional or challenging for me, um, I can use this breath to really help to release that energy. So as we're as we're sitting in this practice, it looks a little bit like this. You'll be breathing in. Right, you get the idea. So you do make sure you do get an inhale and an exhale in each round of this. Let your hands rest on your knees or your thighs, right? Just close your eyes now and we'll begin. Feel free to join me when you're ready. Inhaling, exhaling through the nose. Release the breath. Start over. Okay. Hi, friends. So please take a comfortable seat. You can sit on a chair, you can sit on the floor, whatever feels most comfortable to you. I think probably a chair is gonna be a little more comfortable for what we're doing today. And if you would, put your feet flat on the floor. So um, we're gonna jump right into the practices so we can get right to the benefits, right? So we're gonna start with uh, a breathing technique called Kapalabhati. So this is where a very percussive breathing style where you're inhaling in through the nose and exhaling out through the nose while percussively on the exhale, pulling the abdomen back toward the spine. So it's a little bit like this. You get the idea, right? So let's try this together. Go ahead and close your eyes. Let your hands rest on your knees or your thighs. I'll begin. Feel free to join me when you're ready. All right, go ahead and release the breath. Take a big, full, deep inhale in after those short breaths. Exhaling out through the nose. Couple more rounds, Ujjayi style breath. Okay. All right. Now we're going to do something called brummery breathing. So this is um, sound of the, the brummery bee, a bumblebee. So you're going to be taking your index fingers to this part of the ear, this piece of cartilage in the front part of the ear here. And we're going to be pressing that in so that we can uh, only really hear ourselves. And you're going to be humming. 
So you're going to be going like this. Before you do it, just listen. So you hum until you're out of breath, and then you do another one, right? So you're going to be leaving the bottom teeth separate from the top teeth, but keeping the mouth, the mouth, the lips joined, and you're just going to hum. All right. So let's just go ahead and do this. Bring your index fingers to that part of that cartilage part of the ear. Go ahead and close the ear off. Relax your jaw. Close your lips. Mm. Release your brummery breath. Let your hands rest on your knees or your thighs. Eyes closed. Resume your normal breath with awareness. So feeling how the breath is moving now in the chest, the low ribs, perhaps into the lower belly at this point. Third pranayama technique we're going to practice now is Nadi Shodhana, which is alternate nostril breathing. So if you'll take your hand up like this, this is we're going to create Vishnu Mudra. So you fold down your index and middle fingers and we'll be working with the thumb and the ring finger. So you're going to bring your right thumb to the right nostril. Exhale all the air out through the left nostril. And then inhale in through the left nostril. Close with the ring finger, open on the right side and exhale on the right side. Fully push the breath out. Inhale back in through the right nostril. Close with the thumb, exhale to the left. Push the breath out. When you're completely empty, pull the breath back in through the left nostril. Close, exhale through the right. Inhale through the right. Close with the thumb, exhale on the left. Inhale through the left. Close with the ring finger, exhale through the right. Inhale through the right. Close with the thumb, exhale through the left. Inhale through the left nostril. Close with the ring finger, exhale through the right nostril. You can do this at your own pace now. I'm going to continue. You continue at your own pace.
Go ahead and start to release the breath. Just let your hands rest on your knees or your thighs. Keep your eyes closed. Just check in with yourself. Coming back to ujjayi breath, again, making some sound in the throat as you inhale and exhale through the nose. So the lips stay together, but the teeth are apart. Now we're gonna start a few acupressure techniques. So you're gonna take your index finger, bring it to the third eye. If you have glasses on like I do, you might wanna set them aside and take your index finger right to the third eye. Close your eyes. Try to relax your left shoulder as much as you can. If you wanna prop your elbow up with your opposite hand like this, I'm kind of using my right hand to support my left elbow so that then I can just massage my third eye. So just in a circular fashion. Try to relax the shoulders as much as you can as you do this and let your inner gaze be right up toward the third eye. And if it doesn't go there, fine. Do your best to keep your breath even, slow, long on the inhale and the exhale. And go ahead and release and just let your hands rest in your lap, coming back to the fullness, the sound of your breath. All right, now we're gonna work uh, an acupressure point in the ears. So this point is up here in this area of the ear, sort of over this top ridge, right about there. You wanna find the same spot on the other ear, index finger on the front of the ear and thumb on the back of the ear and just massage your little, that little point, closing the eyes. Try to relax your shoulders. Keep your breath full. Just let your fingers now start to kind of slide down the outer edges of the ears. Again, working the, working the ear between the index finger and the thumbs. And just begin to continue working down the edges all the way toward just above the earlobe. And then work your earlobes a little bit. I'm going to literally put my ear between my thumb and index fingers and then pull outward on your ears a little bit. It's almost like that's a big pressure release, right? It's like you don't realize that your ears are, <laughs> you feel a little smushed in by your ear. So pull out gently on the ears and release that. Just let your hands rest again on your knees or your thighs and come back to your full breathing eyes closed. 
feel whatever sensations you're feeling. Maybe you're still feeling some sensation at the third eye or in your face. Chances are you may be feeling some warmth and sensation in the ears after rubbing them for a while. Full long deep inhales. Full thorough exhales. Making sure that as you're breathing in and out throughout this exercise, that the exhale is really, really drawing the abdomen back toward the spine to release any breath and make room for your next inhale. All right, now we're going to massage the scalp a little bit. So take your fingertips up to the top of your head and spread your fingers. Let your thumbs kind of slide down toward the back of the head. And then just pretend you're shampooing your head lightly on the fingertips. Close your eyes and just enjoy that sensation, letting your fingers start to move away from the imaginary part in the top of the hair, moving the fingers down a little bit on the sides of the head, massaging little circles with all the fingertips, a little gentle pressure into the scalp. Let your hands continue to slide down. Maybe you end up with some of your fingers right in the temple. So just let the temples get a little massage here. Now we're going to take the index fingers and slide them down right into the jaw hinge. Drop your bottom teeth away from your top teeth. And just start to work some small circles here with your index fingers as you feel that muscle. It goes right along the jaw there and start to work some of that tension out of the jaw. Breathing the entire way. Notice where you feel any tenderness, right? So if you work right up in, into the hinge itself, you might find some really tender little spots. And then work that muscle as it kind of goes across. You can feel the, the teeth inside your gums as you roll your fingers across there. Just feel that massage a little bit. Let your fingers come in now, right into the corner, right we're back where behind the molars, so to speak. A little pressure there. And relax, let your hands rest on your knees or your thighs. Completely release your jaw, your facial muscles your shoulders, your neck, any tension in your hands from doing the massage work, let it go. Come back to your breathing. One more for the head. So we're gonna take the hands so that the thumbs slide back behind and underneath the occipital ridge. So your thumbs are going back to the underneath the base of the skull and your fingers are just kind of holding onto the side of the head. So close your eyes and use your thumbs to start to massage. You might feel two kind of bony, bony protrusions on either side of the very top of the vertebrae. And just let your thumbs kind of circle those, finding some sensitivity there. And start to work the thumbs away from center. 
still in a circular fashion. You can feel, again, any tenderness there. Keep your eyes closed while you enjoy this massage, right? So you don't want to be taking in input for the eyes as you're massaging these muscles. You want these muscles to get a little break from the work your eyes do all the time. Keep sliding the thumbs away from center and away from center as you keep finding little tender spots with the thumbs. And eventually your thumbs find their way all the way back behind your ears, all the way down right underneath the earlobe and right back behind the jaw. Ooh, you can dig in there a little bit. And then relax, let your hands rest again. Relax your shoulders, relax your face. Bring your awareness to any sensation you may be feeling in the back of your head, your neck. Maybe you feel some other parts of you that you've already worked releasing a little bit more as we keep kind of untying the knots. All right, now we're gonna work the traps a little bit. So take your left hand, you're gonna reach for just a, just a mound of this tissue right up here, this muscle up here, your traps. The thumb can go in front, the fingers can go in back, and just, just massage that a little bit. Try to keep your body as relaxed as possible as you're working with this hand. Press into there with that thumb. And reciprocally, those fingers right behind all that muscle are supporting it. And as you do this, you're creating a little bit more blood flow, prana, life force into this tissue. And then release the left hand, let it come relax completely. Relax your left shoulder, your left forearm, your hand. Breathing. Take the right hand, thumb to the front of the trap, fingers behind, and give it some gentle massage. You really work that thumb in there, breathing. Try not to hunch your shoulders up. That's counterproductive, right? So let your shoulders relax. The only thing that's going to be working here right now is your right arm and hand. Hopefully more the hand than the arm and the shoulder, even though they have to be involved, I know. All right, then go let go of your trap. Let your hands rest comfortably on your knees or your thighs. Breathe in and out through the nose with focus on creating a long, slightly longer exhale than your inhale, ujjayi breath. One more acupressure massage point. So with the hand, you're going to take your opposite thumb to the webbing between the thumb and the index finger. The index finger goes behind. So you're kind of grabbing the flesh like this, right? Relax the right hand as you massage it with the left. Let your hand just rest. And then you're just going to massage in kind of a circular fashion with your thumb. You can relax your right hand. You don't have to try to keep the fingers spreading there, but just let your hand rest on your leg and massage that point, eyes closed. Could be fairly tender, right? So this is an acupressure point that's typically used to release tension in the, or if you have a headache, that kind of thing. So really release. Just notice if you feel a reciprocal shift across the brow, somehow in the head, Go ahead and switch hands, right? So take a hold of the webbing between thumb and index finger on the left hand, and just massage that a little bit with your right thumb and index finger. 
hands completely resting on the lap. You're not trying to lift the arms up and cause any tension in other parts of you. Just a little gentle massage in the hand there. Be sweet with yourself. If it's a particularly tender, be gentle. Breathing. And release, just let the hands rest fully on your knees or your thighs, eyes closed. Come back to your breath. Feel your feet on the floor. Feel how your sitting bones are making contact with your seat. Do you notice how the angle of the sacrum may be falling? Is it falling back at the top? In other words, maybe there's a little bit of rounding in the back as you've kind of released and maybe the bottom is slightly forward in your chair seat, but you're leaning back against the chair back and there's a rounding in the lower back. See if you can push the sitting bones back toward the back end of your chair seat and resume a gentle lift up through the sacrum. In your mind's eye, see the shape of your spine right now. Letting your breath continue this beautiful, natural ujjayi breathing. Nice, even inhales and exhales. So see each vertebrae of the spine from the sacrum all the way up now, just becoming illuminated. So the sacrum bright with light. Lower lumbar. And the light moves its way up. So just imagine you're seeing each vertebrae light up from the inside as you see this move up through your spine, up through the lumbar spine up to the thoracic spine, 12 vertebrae in the thoracic, so it takes a little time as you visualize it moving up through that natural kyphotic curve. Each vertebrae lighting up and lighting up until it comes to the base of the neck and you see each vertebrae light up. You see the natural curve of the neck mirroring the natural curve of the lumbar spine. Each vertebrae lighting up until it comes up to meet at the base of the skull, at the atlas, the very top of the spine. And at your atlas, see if you can have a sense of how does your head feel as it's balanced at the top of the neck. Is there any subtle movement that you could bring into this that would allow your head to be even more weightless at this moment? Maybe the sides of the neck have to just float back just an eighth of an inch. See how profound this, the most subtle movement can feel in your physical body, creating a sense of lightness and ease. Coming back to your breath.
So bring your awareness now back to your feet and how your feet are meeting the floor. Feeling grounded. And observe any shifts that you may notice in your physical, mental, spiritual bodies. When you feel ready, let your eyes open. Deep gratitude to all of you for coming to do this practice today. I hope that this is helpful and I hope that you will come back to this again and again as you may need to over the next few months or so. So thank you. Om Shanti. Namaste, everyone.